Mr. Taman, your decision to run for presidency has sparked many conversations among Singaporeans, right? Maybe for starters, can you share with us um, the driving force behind your candidacy? Well, I, I feel Singapore is entering a new future and I can play a very useful role as president. I will be a president for a new future. A future that's going to be much more difficult internationally, a future that's going to be quite different domestically, but I think Singapore can continue to shine. We can continue to be a people who see that solidarity amongst people is what makes Singapore special. And the presidency, I think, uh, will have to play an active role in ensuring that. One of the critical responsibilities of a president is to safeguard the nation's financial reserves, right? And with your deep understanding of economic factors, um, fiscal policies, how do you see the president's role in achieving that? Well, the president has to uh, understand the challenges that we face in Singapore, not just when crises hit, but also our longer term challenges to invest in our infrastructure, invest in adapting to climate change, and so on. Because this is a precious asset for Singapore. The benefits of having those reserves should last forever. If we keep drawing on past reserves, eventually future generations will have nothing but domestic taxes to meet their needs. If we use only domestic taxes today to meet future needs, I think it'll be too tough on the current generation and not fair because the benefits are going to last across generations. So there has to be some sharing across generations. And this, is a, this requires very careful judgment. The role of a Singapore president um, is multifaceted, right? Requiring a delicate balance of various qualities. So from your perspective, Mr. Taman, if you can identify one essential quality that a president must possess, what would it be? I would say empathy for ordinary people and understanding of the joys and frustrations they have, but also understanding the challenges that we face globally. Well, empathy requires that you don't look down on people, that you put yourself in their shoes and walk a journey with them rather than tell them this is what I think you have to do. And it requires giving them hope because they know that they are being supported and they know that they are being empowered. Looking ahead to the near future, what do you consider as the most significant challenge that Singapore will face, whether it's economic shifts, technological disruptions or global uncertainties? How do you then intend to navigate through these challenges while also preserving Singapore's unique values? We play a very useful bridging role uh, internationally uh, between contending parties and, and different views. We have always been seen as a moderating voice and a voice that's able to bring people together to find a consensus. And that's true on climate change, it's true on the global water crisis, it's true on many issues, including how the global financial system has to better respond to the challenges of the future. Advocacy for social causes is an integral part of this role, right? And drawing from your experience in fostering social cohesion as well as in inclusive growth, could you pinpoint one particular social cause that you would champion if you're elected? Well, social mobility is always foremost in my mind. Making sure that those who start off with disadvantage, those who start off poorer, are able to do well in life. You've got to intervene early to help parents, help kids very early in life so that they're able to develop the capabilities, develop the confidence, and they'll be able to go through the school system and what happens after. No one should feel that there's a ceiling on what they're able to do. How do you feel about leaving Taman Jeron after 22 years of serving here? Sad, uh, very emotional, um, because we've developed um, many relationships, my wife and I. The joy that people have when you've taken some effort to help them to get out of real difficulty and they're able to transform their lives. It is what has given me capabilities uh, to understand Singapore very well, what ordinary people really feel and think and what concerns them. And it puts me in a much stronger position to be able to serve as president.